I don't know where he's going. I love holding this guy. He's such a cutie. But, okay, so I have some really, really, really good news. I just got approved for a $350,000 loan for a house. And it's amazing because that's exactly the price that I wanted and um, was hoping for. Uh, I've been doing this research for like two years. More than, honestly, I've been doing research on houses for like maybe seven years. And I'm, I've been like slowly learning more and more. And now I feel like I'm like really good. Like whenever I talk to any expert, like a mortgage broker or like a real estate agent, um, I know exactly what the fuck they're talking about. Even investors, like I know everything about it. Um, so anyways, I'm just really happy that my math, you know, mathed out correctly because I was thinking this whole time I would be approved for a $350,000 house and I am. So I just got the call literally like five minutes ago and I feel so amazing because I know I got that hurdle out of the way. I do unfortunately need more money, um, but I do think it's possible to gather the rest of it by like mid to late, I was about to say January, July. So super fucking soon. Uh, and it's, it's, it's happening guys. It's really happening. I still don't know what the fuck I'm going to do with this place. Cause I still have like, I will still have like five months left here. So I'm not too sure. There are some things that are kind of sticky, you know, a little hairy here and there, but I'm sure I'm going to figure it out. Maybe I can end at least early or I'm not really too sure. But, um, anyways, let me tell you a little something. I, <laughs> I was, okay. Two years ago, me and my ex-wife were going to buy a home. You know, that was our whole plan. That's why we moved to Portland. Um, and so we hit up Rocket Mortgage. And Rocket Mortgage is the same company, oop, the same company that I am, you know, getting the mortgage with now. So um, anyways, I signed up for Rocket Mortgage. I got myself like a, a lender guy that I like talk to, a mortgage broker. And um, everything's going good. He says like, hey, like, I don't know why, but on my end, it says your name's Deja. And I was like, oh, like, I was, like, not trying to say it, but I was just basically like, oh, like, you know, I signed up, like, years ago with my ex-wife. And I was almost trying to make it seem like it was my ex-wife's name, um, but not, like, really. I didn't say that's my ex-wife, but I was just like, oh, yeah, like, me and my ex-wife are going, this little guy's, like, nibbling on my neck or something. What the hell? Um, I was just, I just kind of made up a whole, I didn't really make up a whole story, I just told the truth, but I was trying to not tell him too much information, uh, because I didn't want him to know that I'm trans, you know, because someone's name was Deja, and now they're Elijah, it's kind of obvious that someone's literally a tranny, so I didn't want to say that, uh, but when we got further into the process of getting me approved for this damn loan, he saw that, like, I had old income, like, different pay stuff, different W-4s, I think, or W-2, whatever it is, um, for my old job, and he was like, what's going on here, and then he, like, looked in further, and he was like, wait, we need to do a, a background check on you, because we have them for Deja, but not for you, and so I had to get a background check, and he was like, I never really outright, outright told him what was going on, until it came to the whole job thing, like, when he saw that old pay stub, or old fucking W-4, W-2, um, form, he was like, so, what is the deal, is your, was your old name Deja, like, what name were you born with, and shit, and I was like, I was born with the name Deja, yeah, and then he was like, I also see, like, a big gap here, you're not working for, like, three months, what happened there, and I was like, I got surgery, I was, I was getting surgery at that time, and, like, I can't lie to this guy, and he put two and two together, and he, like, literally knows I'm trans, and I felt so, I felt so fucking awkward, but the thing is, like, he literally does not give a flying fuck about what I have going on, and so that's all good. I was just scared. I, I, every time I, like, tell somebody or someone finds out that I am trans, I'm just scared that they're, like, literally gonna see me as, you know, a girl forever, or, like, misgender me, mis, um, you know, what's it called? Not misname me, but, you know, maybe he might accidentally call me Deja and shit. Like, it's just, like, it's just a toughie. It's just, like, kind of a risk, and I just don't want, you know, I don't want that to happen. And it's also different with this guy because I don't really mind it because I have never met him, and I'm never going to meet him. I have no clue what state he's in. He's definitely not in Oregon, though. He was, like, saying, like, you know, I'm going to call you at 9 a.m. at your time. And I was like, where is this guy? 
um, but, like, other than that, though, like, he seemed like a really cool guy, like, that's what I'm really coming to realize, like, most people, like, I think truly, like, the haters, oh my god, like, take away my nipple, but I feel like a lot of, like, the, the transphobic people or, like, the haters are really just, like, online, if you really think about it, like, I don't usually really encounter, like, actual transphobic people in real life, like, ever, um, I don't think I ever have, yeah, I don't think I ever have, like, been in a situation like that, um, I'm over here trying to think, but I, you know, encounter, encounter every day online, so, I don't know, I'm just coming to realize, like, that people are open to, people are open to it, like, I know for a fact, like, you know, three of my bosses know, um, and, like, almost everybody I know, knows, except for, like, my coworkers, I guess, um, this little guy is, what are you up to? Oh, back in the hair. Oh, oh my god, tickling my damn, tickling my shit. But, um, yeah, I don't know, I'm just really happy that that went smoothly and it wasn't awkward or anything. I'm just trying hard to not make shit awkward because I know some people, like, really get uncomfortable when you tell them that you are trans. So, I definitely, um, got past it and, yeah, anyways. Uh, this little guy. Look at that little cutie. Look at that tiny little face. Oh my god. Anyways, that's all. Um, I'll talk to you later. Bye.